Hey everyone, it is Beak here, and I'm going to show you a demo how-to on using expressions on transparency channels, and the conditional statement, the if, and in doing so, we're going to create this actually pretty cool real-time universal counter contraption. And what it is is uh, a whole bunch of 3D text with uh, controlling access, and whatever this says in the readout box, <laughs> the readout box in the uh, channel value box is going to read out uh, on the counter. So, a couple of things we're going to need to know. One is going to be this expression, which I will get into in a second. But you'll see this isn't that hard to make. So, I highly recommend getting a new batch action or connect effects, whatever you're working in. This will work on smoke, by the way. Any discrete product that has uh, this I this thing's about seven years old so it's it'll work on anything that has an action setup or an action module here we go first thing you want to do is create some 3d text and get rid of the axes because any extraneous channels are going to just make sorting sorting through them later difficult and we will change the first one to a number one. The reason I suggest to use a new action, by the way, is because uh, the first node that you create is called text one, and it is a one. That'll come in handy. It's not mandatory, but it sure makes your life easier. Now, I've used an LED f style font that I downloaded from like freefonts.org or com or something like that. There's a ton of them around on the internet, and uh, I just find the LED to be the sort of most useful thing to have quickly in your toolkit. And I'll make that a little bigger. And okay, so to make this there are two tedious bits and two clever bits. And first step is to duplicate this geometry ten times. Now you can see how that number is incrementing. This is good. And here is the tedious bit. Each one of these has to be changed to represent I'm going to make all 10 numbers, let's just say that. So I'm going to go through and do this. And I'm going to hopefully finish soon. Big shout out, by the way, to uh, Grant over there at Autodesk UK for his new 2014 learning channel on YouTube. And Joel Osis down under, he's got some excellent flame and smoke how to's. By the way, that last 10, you want to just change that into a zero. So that is the tedious bit. That'll give you basically all 10, um, all 10 numbers in one place. This is a very good thing. Oops, pop that back into channels for a sec. So I will go into text one, shift select that transparency channel. So I'll have it here. And we're going to get ready to type. So let me get back my context, which doesn't exist. Stand by. Pop this in here. Okay, so now, go away, you. Now, the prototype expression is the one in the middle. And once we have that in once, we'll just modify it with this word selection order which is the second clever bit. The expression itself is the first clever bit, in case you're wondering. I'm going to leave that up there, and I'm going to go back to my geometry, text 1, uh, grab the transparency channel, use either the expression uh, button or the hotkey. In my case, it's the hotkey. And this is the second and last tedious bit. You just have to buckle down and type this. And I know for a fact it's going to reject it because I haven't made the control access yet, but it's good to preload this uh, buffer here. So control.position.x divided by 1, which is silly for now, but leave it there because it'll make more sense when we go to paste these guys in. That whole thing is modulo 10. Compare that to a 1 for the moment, then a comma, and here is our true value. If the test is true, our transparency will be 0. If it's false, the transparency will be 100. 
and fingers crossed. Okay, the only thing it didn't like, like I say, I need to go back and get, well, first of all, curl those a bit, and I will grab an access. You can call this whatever you like, by the way. I just happen to like the word control. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. Um, so long as you reference it in your expressions, it can be named anything you want. The word control is not mandatory. So then, back to our transparency channel. Back to our transparency editor. A little up arrow. Hit enter. And now it takes because there is something called control and it has a position of X and so it works. Okay, well that's basically the hard part. So I'm going to go back to single screen and I will show you another clever selection bit here, which is to get that transparency channel that you want. Switch your viewer to info view and go widescreen, which sometimes doesn't work, I've noticed. So you're in info view, you go widescreen, and you can sort these now by component, value, and channel, and so on. If you sort it by component, and uh, when you do, I guarantee you that it'll get lost. You just kind of have to scroll around here until you find it. But you'll see that all the geometry and their transparency values are grouped together. Not only that, but they go in order, mostly. You see how text 1 is 1, text 2 is the number 2. You do want to select these in order. So you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so on, so that the number here, which is your selection order, by the way, matches uh, the digit that you're working on. Then use your uh, right bracket key, get your expression entry box, and type selection order with an uppercase S, uppercase O, and hit enter and you see when you do that the number that the order which you selected it in like 7 resolves to a 7 and it just so happens to be on text 7 which is the number 7 thus it all works I show you take the control axis start moving it about and you can see the descent humble beginnings of the counter Okay, so that's really the hard part, and the rest is just duplicating this as a branch and re-entering those expressions ten at a time and changing the divisor. I'll show you what I mean. Back to animation prior to that. Let me shift select the transparency channel for the number one in the tens column. Speaking of tens column, let me shove that guy over so he looks relevant. Okay. Transparency channel. Big window. Try and find it because it'll be highlighted. There it is. Okay, so now you've got text 11, 12, blah, blah, blah. And they're mostly in order. Keep your eye on that. Starting with 11, select it first and keep going till you get all 10 of them. Like so. Now, go back to your entry point here and instead of dividing by one which is of course the same thing as not dividing at all change that to a ten because we're on the tens column all those expressions will come in now and be correct once again we do a little testing of the work in progress now you notice the zero is not happening but that's okay it's a quick mod so 34 34 looking good I will hit the wrong button and then <laughs> do one more column duplicate get the first digit there shift select go to animation big window hunt and peck there it is select them all in order expression entry key or expression button down here either way change that divisor now to a hundred because we're in the hundreds column hit enter go back move this 
over, so it also is relevant in today's world. Grab the control, check it out. It's starting to look pretty good. One more quick tweak here, and that is since this was 10th in our selection order, it has uh, substituted the number 10 when in fact it wants to be 0. Quick fix, shift select the transparency, go to animation. You know, I'm just going to go back to channels view now. Okay, expression hotkey, compare that to a 0, not a 10. Do the same trick with this guy. Shift select the transparency channel, grab your hotkey, make that a 0, not a 10. And last but not least, same treatment for the 100 column. Now, as you can see, whoops, I missed it. As you can see, you can just keep adding columns and just keep changing this divisor here so you can get a thousands column, ten thousand, and so on. I forget where the axis actually maxes out at. It, it's, it's quite big. And of course, you can always concatenate these guys if uh, you run out of space. So now we'll see that the, uh, the zero works as well. And that's uh, pretty much the basics of how to make this uh, selected look so much nicer. How to make the uh, if statement into a counter. In any case, that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.